Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. It's Sunday. It's a lovely, dreary, cool, damp Southwest Ohio fall day, which is it's as usual. Leaves are on the ground, garden's empty. We're going to talk about Jesus today, okay? So, in a <clears throat> in the book of Ephesians, we're going through Ephesians in, in chapter four. We're going to wind up chapter four today, okay? So, I hope you can uh, stick with us for a few minutes, hear God's word, and uh, be encouraged, be strengthened. Um, be challenged hopefully you know and as i do the same for myself through his word in ephesians chapter 4 we're going to start in verse 30 the three verses here and it says and do not grieve the holy spirit of god with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption get rid of all bitterness rage and anger brawling and slander along with every form of malice be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other just as in christ god forgave you it's a it's an interesting topic grieving the holy spirit of god maybe trying to understand maybe what that is how we, how can you grieve the holy spirit of god in other words make him sad how can you make the holy spirit sad well paul kind of lines that out get rid of all bitterness there it is bitterness is a tool of the enemy okay it sets up it it festers bitterness is like the nuisance weed that's a nuisance something that's considered you know that that just pops up everywhere or that the We'll call it like poison ivy. I've got poison ivy coming over through this fence like crazy. And it just gets gets through the fence, crawls on the ground and pops up. And like, sometimes it, it vines and crawls underground and just pops up in certain areas. And you're like, where did this come from? Why is this here? It's festered and the root of it, right? The root of it has just crept along and, and stayed alive. And it shows its, it rears its ugly head and shows its face in the strangest of times sometimes. That's bitterness. Uh, somewhere else in the Bible, I forget the exact scripture right now, but it says, don't let no bitter root, right, spring up. Don't, don't, don't let a bitter root come out because it's just going to fester and go beneath the ground and the surface. And next thing you know, it's, it shows its ugly face in the worst of times when you do not need that. But bitterness also breeds hate and it breeds all these things. And and hate and jealousy, another one, right? But it breeds all kinds of junk. And by the way, I think that would make the Holy Spirit really sad. Why is that? Because it says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. So the Holy Spirit, we'll just say, hey, let's living, right? The Holy Spirit's a living being. Holy Spirit is just God, okay? That is, the, that is part of the Godhead, the three in one of the Trinity. It's God saying, well, I gave you life. I sacrificed my life so you could have joy and peace, contentment, happiness. And you could have these things. You could have life and have it to the full. But yet here you are being bitter and angry and jealous and upset and hateful. I gave you life and you've literally said, no, I don't want it. With your bitterness, but you're holding on to old hurts, with you're never forgetting what happened to you when you was a child. By the way, you could be 40, 50, 60, 70 years old now, and you're still remembering hurtful things that happened like years ago. That is not what God saved us for. Yes, things hurt. Absolutely. Do you not think that we've all dealt with hurt and pain? Do you not think that the Lord Jesus Christ dealt with some hurt and pain, that God was not hurt when he had to sacrifice his son, that God does not hurt when he sees his children whom he gave life to say, nah, I don't want it. I want to be bitter. I want to be hateful. I don't want to forget what people have done against to me. I want God to forget what I did to him, but I don't want people, but I don't want to forget what people did to me. bitterness get rid of all bitterness it has no place in the child of God bitterness has no place in the kingdom of God see all this stuff that Paul's writing here is about strengthening the individual so the individual can then strengthen the body and the body can then strengthen society but you got to start with yourself then do, then the church and then out, then the community see it has to start here you have to start with yourself, not because you're selfish and want to live your best life now, but because I can't do my job in the body if this, this part of the body is jacked up, right? 
and we can't do our part in the body holding on to bitterness Hold, holding on to old hurts he said that you were still for the day of redemption you were forgiven you were forgiven but yet there's bitterness there get rid of all bitterness rage anger why are we in rage road rage big deal <laughs> <laughs> Maybe sometimes you, you're, go, you're going through road rage because you're holding on to some bitterness inside and that's festering as hate and festering coming out towards other people, right? Bitterness is the, pro bitterness is the problem. <laughs> bitterness is the problem. Brawling and slander. Whew, hope, hopefully not brawling. Along with every form of malice. He says though, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as God forgave you. See, that's the thing is, like I said, there's so many times that we know we need forgiveness from God. But, and we, and we <laughs> graciously accept. We're overjoyed and happy, humbled, sure, to accept God's grace, to accept the forgiveness of God because we know we need it. We need God's forgiveness to save our sorry hind ends from hell. That's, and that's what we care about, right? That's all we care about is the, and by the way, this is sarcasm in case, you're not, in case you're not familiar. That's all we really care about. We gotta get out of hell. It's a get out of hell free card. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a, it's nothing to do with being grateful and humbled and, all, and joyful and happy that we can be redeemed that our sorry sack of self <laughs> could be redeemed and all of our all of our wrongdoings be forgiven i don't need god to i don't need god to, to remember my wrongdoings Whew, no it's not this life of service of, of gratitude and thankfulness right we just need that get out of hell free card and in doing so, we'll take our get out of hell free card, put it in our pocket, and then want everybody else to have hell to pay for what they did to us. And if they're not, and if they don't have that to pay, bitterness starts festering in here. Jealousy starts festering in here. Hatred starts festering in here. It has no place in the kingdom of God. It has no place in the house of God. It has no place in the temple of God. By the way, your body is the temple of the Lord. It lives here. If Christ lives here, then how can bitterness live here as well? How can hatred live here as well? Because we just need that get out of hell free card. And want to hold on to all the hurts this world had, has to offer. All everything that's ever done to us, we want to hold on to that. Well, it's self-care, it's this, it's that, it's, you know, it's my mental health, I'm depressed. I'm Come on, man. Yes, some of those things are real. There's clinical issues, I get it, all this stuff. But there is nothing nothing <laughs> that an encounter with the living god and savior of this world there's nothing that an encounter with the holy spirit of god can't handle and there's no reason for us to be holding on to these hurts yes hey, it's some terrible things that happened to some to some people who did not deserve it i know that i haven't necessarily had to experience terrible things happening to me like that but People who I love dearly have. Okay. And it's a fight not to be bitter. And sometimes it's in your DNA. You're raised with it. And it's terrible. And I hate it. You hate the people who've had that struggle. But overcoming those struggles is what God, that's why God um, 
excels in. He helps you overcome those struggles, not just for you, but then so you can talk to somebody else and help somebody else through the struggles that they're, that they're dealing with because you were there. You were there and overcame it. So you can go help somebody else overcome it. Be there, be their support system to help them overcome it. To show them that, hey, an encounter with Jesus Christ helps you overcome that because there's life there. You don't have to hold on to these old hurts. But too often we get stuck in that bitterness. And all we care about is this person, not everybody else. I'm going to challenge you today, tomorrow, next week, next year, every, every, every single stinking day to get rid of the bitterness. Don't let bitterness, don't let that bitterness fester inside your heart. You were forgiven. You need to forgive others. The vice versa said what? Be kind and compassionate. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. Just as in Christ, God forgave you. And you can't do that holding on to bitterness. And there's a, there's a forgive and forget thing. People talk about, oh, you got to forgive and forget. You know what? It's okay not to forget because you don't want to be burned necessarily again. But you got to let some things go and forgive people. You got to forgive people. Forgive it. Don't hold it against them. And I know some things are tough. I get it. But, man, God forgave us so much. And he'd do it again, and he does it again daily. He forgave Paul, right? Paul was a Christian murderer. People, people forget. He essentially was a, Christian, was a terrorist against Christians, right? He killed Christians because they weren't Jewish. There's people that you don't think deserves forgiveness. But you're, you got you to remember, you probably don't either. But we have it. And we have to give it. We have to give it back just as we received it. So thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. If you have any prayer requests or praise reports, uh, comments, just leave them below. We'd love to hear from you and pray for you. My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you and goodbye.